Just a quick little review from What's Up Guy Garage on the Powell Built 300. And the 300 is for 300 pounds, which, you know, fortunately right now I'm not 300 pounds yet. Black's got some, some uh, residents <laughs> taking some space in the truck. Daisy also wants to help me get this step unboxed. Huh, sweetie? How's that cardboard? Is that pretty good? Huh? <laughs> cool. So basically what I was going to do <clears throat> is just show you how easy it is to go ahead and install this. Um, you can see right here they've got these pins with a bunch of adjustment holes to basically increase or decrease the width of the tire size that this is going to be actually affixed onto. And right now I'm actually at the fourth hole. I've actually got one more hole I can go, but this one actually seems like it's going to be working out perfect. So basically you just hooks onto the back side of the tire. I'll show you what I mean. So you can see right around the rim on the back side of the tire, it just hooks on. There's no marring of anything. Um, when you look at these little screws down here, you can see that there's adjustability and I'm actually contacting the tire and that's on a 20 inch wheel. I think this thing is awesome and you can see that that's actually threaded all the way, which is nice. So then all you have to do is just tip down the step. Boom, step up, boom, done. I mean, look at that. This thing is awesome. So yeah, I like it. Thing is mint. So here's just a look around, showing you what it looks like. So it's um, nicely built, good welds. I'm liking how this thing is. This thing is pretty sweet. And I'll show you again, just jump up on it. And I mean, I'm 200 and something pounds. And I mean, it's holding my weight, so it's all that matters to me, and it's really not flexing. The only thing that's flexing, literally, is just the the actual tire itself. This is what it looks like on Big Black, on the uh, 06 Ford F350. So to give you an idea of what kind of wheel that this is fitting on, it's a 35 by 12 and a half on a 20 inch rim. So, and it's adjustable. It can actually go another click out, but you can see those holes right there. Adjustable for different width tires, wheels, whatever you want to call it. And then um, looks like we get some adjustable heights right here on this pin right here. You can either come up or go down on each side. So obviously this bracket right here, pop that pin with the little clip. So this is actually the lowest position that this can go in because otherwise it would start interfering with this little adjuster right here. Which uh, on 20 inch rims, man, this actually works out pretty nice. And uh, to kind of give you an idea, I'm just kind of waxing up the hood, but um, this is sweet, man, because I'll tell you right now, and I mean, holding my weight, I mean, this is awesome. I mean, I'm bouncing on this thing, and this thing's mint, so. The nice thing, too, is that it has really nice treads. I mean, that gives you some nice traction. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend, you know, having bare feet or anything like that, but... These really grip my shoes, sneakers, boots, whatever you got. And um, yeah, so this is working out pretty nice. Gives you a nice solid step. And um, in the past, I've worked on Big Black before. You'd have kind of issues reaching up into the engine compartment or even let's just say wax in the hood. You could use a two foot step ladder, but what happens is when you lean out, your feet kind of like have a tendency to like kick out and it ends up kicking out the ladder and then you're kind of like you know wondering where can you step down now without destroying you know your body because <laughs> usually your body is like grinding against stuff so um yeah i like this i'll get you a measurement just so that you can see how far off the ground this is but you can see right there man i mean that's exceeding the uh center line of that wheel 
but I'll get a number. Depending upon where you're going on the tape. It adjusted right now, we're at 20 and a half inches up from the ground. I could probably actually adjust that step in one more click and that would bring that step, kick it up a little bit. So you can see Daisy over there recycling the box for me. Maybe Colby's trying to help. Um, that's just a quick little review from What's Up Guy Garage on the Powell Built 300. Daisy's over here helping me recycle the uh, box. Well, thanks for watching What's Up Guy Garage. Just an example right here of how good this pup is. Hey Daisy, right in that bowl right there, there's a biscuit, a cookie, dog chewy. So when you say the word cookie, you want a cookie? Wow, she's not doing it now. It was, it's one of those things like, you know, when you have a, like a camera not running, like all the time, you miss moments. So she knows there's a cookie in there. But she won't touch it. She'll just sit there and look and wait. And that's awesome. You know, obviously I wouldn't recommend going on <coughs> black before. Well, if I was... Obviously I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend. <coughs> that's when I've worked on Big Black on the pa in the past. When I um, they all love going for rides. That's one of Haley's favorite spots right there. She likes sitting on that... Um, the middle console that, you know, flips up as a seat, but she actually likes it as a console. So it gives her that, you know, what you call that bird's eye view. Hi, oh, sweetie. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Colby. So what you doing over there, buddy? So, yeah. A couple of uh, happy heads right there.